Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy at the Clayman Thyroid Center here at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery with another edition of Reuters Goiters. So in today's edition, we have a 48 year old woman who had a very large goiter due to her Graves disease. So she essentially had two things going on. The first was her Graves disease and the second was her large goiter. She was monitoring her goiter for a long time and she was managing her Graves disease with thyroid medication, but she was still having symptoms. Her symptoms were trouble talking and her most significant symptom was that she was getting out of breath when she would really do any type of activity. But she was really scared to have surgery, so she avoided surgery until really she couldn't avoid it any longer. Her symptoms were progressing to the fact that any type of activity she was having or doing, she was having significant shortness of breath. So she came in to see us and on her evaluation, we saw a huge thyroid mass. And of course, her thyroid function tests were consistent with Graves' disease. But actually the most concerning part of her evaluation was her vocal cords. So as part of the evaluation, we do a, what's called a laryngoscope, where we put a camera down to look at the vocal cords. Her left-sided vocal cord was almost paralyzed. And this was likely due to the compression from her goiter. So let me take you to the operating room and show you how big this mass is. And we'll talk about this case in more depth later. Okay, so here we are in the operating room. This is the patient. Uh, this is her chin here. This is her collarbone, this huge mass here. I'm moving it back and forth. This is her large mass occupying the majority of her neck. It's very firm. It's not that mobile. Um, so I'm going to remove this goiter with an incision that will be right here and I'll show you the specimen in a little bit. Okay, so now that I showed you in the operating room what it looked like, let me show you what it looked like on the imaging. So here we have the thyroid goiter. This is the huge mass. This is our jawbone. So her thyroid goiter was essentially starting right below her jawbone. And so if you follow this down, we're going completely down. This is her trachea, her windpipe, and it's completely wrapped around it and we follow it down, and then you can see how massively big it gets on this left side. This is the left side where preoperatively we saw that her left vocal cord was paralyzed. So this is compressing her nerve in the operating room. So we follow it down, and you can see how big it is. So when I was doing the operation, I had to safely identify her nerves that go to her vocal cords, and I did that. And when we identify the nerves, we also trace them to make sure that they're completely safe during the operation. After we identify them and make sure that they're safe, we use something called a nerve stimulator to confirm its function. And so both nerves stimulated perfectly during the operation, meaning that once the goiter has been removed and the compression of the nerve has been relieved, all of her symptoms that she was having preoperatively should be relieved. So let me show you how big this was in real life. This is her thyroid, so this is the top portion that was starting right below her jawbone, and this was the massive portion that was compressing the nerve in the operating room. So what do we take away from this case? What should we, we should take away from this case is the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So the recurrent laryngeal nerve, we have a pair of them of sensory branches and motor branches on each side of the thyroid, and they run underneath the thyroid glands to innervate our vocal cords so that when we're talking, we're able to have good voice quality and projection. These nerves can be injured due to compression or if you have a thyroid cancer that's invading into these nerves and then that would cause symptoms like our patient had trouble talking as well as shortness of breath. So it's very important to identify these symptoms. It's very important to get an expert evaluation if you have thyroid disease, thyroid nodules or a thyroid cancer that may be causing issues with your nerve to give you these symptoms. So if you have any of these symptoms, please contact us for an expert evaluation at thyroidcancer.com.